Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Proud Animator. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to animate ball bounce animation in After Effects. So let's start. So here we have two different examples. One is a bowling ball and one is a golf ball. So each one of them have different mass and size. So depending on that, it is going to have different number of pounds. So first of all, we are going to start with the golf ball. Let's turn off the visibility of this one. Now I'm going to turn on rulers. Press Ctrl plus R and we are going to put one ruler over here. All right. Now after that, before animating, we are going to add a null object for this golf ball. So we are going to add a null object, move the anchor point, put it over here and move this null object and put it over here and slightly scale it down. Let's name it golf ball. After that, we are going to parent this illustration layer of the golf ball with null layer. So whenever we move, it is going to move together. Now after that, we are going to animate the ball only in Y axis first. Press P to open the position, separate the dimension, put a keyframe on Y axis. Now after that, we are going to jump on to next 12 frame and put a keyframe over here. And also at this point, we are going to just pull it above and put it over here somewhere around here. So let's select the keyframes, press F9 to easy as it. Now after that, we're going to get inside the curve editor, select this keyframe and make sure to get inside the value graph editor. We're going to pull the Bezier handle and put it something like this. So what it denotes it, is it is going to start slowly and it is going to accelerate while stopping. Now after that, we are going to add another bounce. So for a ball bounce, the timing of the bounce decreases after each bounce. So this whole bounce is 12 frames. So this is the half bounce. So if it's a full bounce, then it is going to have 24 frames. So for the next bounce, we are going to take less than 24 frames. Let's jump into next 20 frames. And we are going to add a keyframe over here. We can add by clicking on this icon or simply press and hold the control key plus the alt key. And we are going to get a add keyframe icon like this. And we can click on this graph editor to add a keyframe in the motion graph editor itself. So after that, we are going to select and pull the basic handle and here is another bounce and it is going to have a full bounce and of course we are going to keep it lesser than the height should be lesser than this first bounce or significantly lesser than something like this we are going to add another bounce so let's jump on to next 12 frame and we are going to add another keyframe over here and we are going to pull this handle and make it somewhat like this. Now one thing you need to keep in mind is that this, the height of the bounce is going to decrease in such a way that if we join the peaks of each of the curves, it should give a decay or an exponential decrease curve somewhat like this. All right. So we are going to add another bounce over here. Let's jump on to next eight frame. We're going to add another keyframe over here. So let's jump on to next five frame and let's add another keyframe over here.
Okay, let's preview the animation till now and let's see how it looks. Yeah, this one actually looks pretty nice, looks like an actual ball bounce. So I think we can go with this one. So let's get outside of the craft editor and this is our Y axis animation. After that, we are going to animate it in X axis as well. So here is a complete Y axis animation. So we are going to put a keyframe in X axis. Put a keyframe in X axis over here as well. Or rather I would like to give some extra frame. Let's jump on to next five frame and drag it over here. So we're going to select this null object. Maybe from here, we can drag it in this side. Now here you can see the trajectory of the animation or the motion path as well. And we can start it from somewhere around here from this particular edge like this. Now if we check the animation. All right. Now after that, what we can do is we can simply keep this part even more time. So we can drag it over here. Let's check out now. So after that, we are going to give this end a bit is so press F9 for that and we are going to drag it even further. Yeah, this one is looking even better. All right, so like this, you can animate ball bounce. Now, the next option is a bowling ball. So let's animate that as well. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. Let's add another null layer. Move the anchor point. Put it over here. And then we are going to move it and put it over here. So we're going to select the bowling ball, parent it with the null layer. Let's rename it with the same name. Now after that, we're going to select the null layer, press P to open the position, separate the dimension. Then we're going to put a keyframe in Y axis at zero. After that, we're going to jump on to next 12 frame. Let's pull it above somewhere around here. All right, so let's select the keyframes and go to keyframe assistant, reverse the keyframe so that it falls down like this. Select the keyframes, press F9 to easy is the keyframes. Let's get inside the graph editor and we're going to make it somewhat like this. So this is a bowling ball. So it is going to have very less and little rebounds effect. So this is where it is falling. Now we can even move it further. And then let's jump on to again next 12 frame. We are going to put a keyframe over here and give a very slight rebounds effect. Let's check it now. Now we are going to decrease the height even more. I think you can decrease it even more. Yeah, this one is looking better. So now we're going to animate it in X axis, put a keyframe over here. And after that, we're going to put another keyframe over here. So select the null layer and pull it outside. And for this one, we are going to drag it this side. So we're going to pull it and drag it few more frames 
this is the keyframe in x axis and we are going to drag it even more let's check out now so now we need to rotate the ball so when it is falling it should rotate as well so for that we are going to use this layer this illustration layer put a keyframe in rotation then we are going to give it around 1.5 maybe and also i'm going to give a few extra frames or just one frame extra for rotation let's ease the keyframe check it out i think this one is too much so we can give only one full rotation All right, so like this, you can animate a ball bounce in After Effects of different mass and size like this. And you can even vary the number of drops and just make different kind of ball bounce like this. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.